In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up MDM integration using group policy. So let's say you've configured your Microsoft Intune environment with, your, with Azure Active Directory and you've installed your hybrid Azure Active Directory join in your on-premises environment and you want to make sure that all your devices on-premises are actually populated in Microsoft Intune. So you, you can see right now if I go to if I open my Microsoft Endpoint Manager which is Intune and I go to um, devices here you can see under um, if I go to all devices you can see we don't have any device over here and if I go to my Microsoft 365 Admin Center and I go to my um, all devices, you can see we don't have any device populating over here. So the same with Azure Active Directory. If I go to Azure Active Directory under Azure Active Directory and I go to devices, here you can see we don't have any device as well. So what we need to do is this. I've already integrated my Azure environment with my own premises by in installing Azure Active Directory Connect. And I have also configured hybrid Azure AD join which we need to do then we need to set up two group policy these policies will allow um, our users devices to be enrolled to Microsoft Intune automatically without the user doing this manually so I will go to my domain controller here and so you need to go to your under server manager you go to tools and you open a group policy management management so when you open the group policy management, you're going to create a new policy in your device because here I have an organization unit which all my devices will be actually located. So and I, here I, am, I created a new policy which is called the Azure Domain Join. So what you just need to do is right click on this organization unit and create a GPO in this domain and link it here. So what we need to, after creating that GPO, so you need to edit edit it so by trying to edit it we're going to create two policies so the first policy we're going to create is actually both policies are on our computer configuration so what we need to do is we need to expand the on our computer conf, um, configuration so expand policies so in policies so expand administrative templates so let me just make this bigger and expand this as well uh, administrative templates and other administrative templates so as part of windows components so in windows components we need to search for device registration so here we have device registration so in device registration we only have just we need to configure register the domain join computer as a device so double click on this and here it says when you enable the settings domain join computers automatically and silently get registered as a device as devices with Azure Active Directory. So what we need to do is just enable this and click apply and click OK. So then we need to actually configure the second policy, which is very, very important. So under this policy also, we also need to go to Windows component. And here we need to search for MDM, that's the mobile device management. And under MDM, so we have two policies we can configure here. We said disable the MDM enrollment or want to enable automatic MDM enrollment. So what did it say? It says enable automatic MDM enrollment using the default Azure AD credentials. So if the user's login to his or her device and you've configured the write back and also the user can use his own his, um, Azure, um, is using, using his Azure Active Directory login to log into that device, which is of course is going to be his user's name, then here we have the option to actually select which one to use the device credentials or the use use the user's credentials. But we're just going to leave it in the user's credentials and we click apply. And it says here, if you enable this policy settings, a task is created to initiate a roaming of the device to MDM service specified in the Azure a day. So I'll click OK. So mind you, after doing this, and let me just close this. Here we see, if I go to my, let me open Active Directory and go to this organization unit. Here you can see I only have one device. So in a no time, but it's going to take some time actually, but I'm, I can actually force this, this synchronization. So it's going to take some, just some few time that all the device, all my devices in that organization unit, which is linked to that, to that group policy, 
should be should be should be populated in Microsoft Intune. If you have integrated your MDM with group policy and a user logged on to a Windows 10 device could be a professional or an enterprise, that device should be automatically be integrated or enrolled in MDM, which is Microsoft Intune. But mind you, the user should have the right Microsoft Intune license. So right now I have um, logged on to my Windows 10 device. So when I go to my Office 365 Admin Center here on that device, you can see I have the device which has been logged on right now. And if I go to my um, my Endpoint Manager, which is Microsoft Intune, and I go to Devices, and here I click All Device, you can see I have the C01, which of course is also um, being um, enrolled into Microsoft Intune, and it's actually a Windows window device so you can see that you have one device but if I go to my Azure Active Directory let me just show you something I go to devices in Azure Active Directory you can see we have different devices here but mind you I only have one device which is being managed by Microsoft Intune and this is this device so they are all hybrid I am Azure are they joined because I've configured hybrid Azure are they join if you want to know how to configure the hybrid Azure at the join I've also created a video about um, how to configure this so you can search on my video and you will see how to set up and configure hybrid Azure at the join so without the configuration of hybrid Azure at the join you will not see your devices in Azure Active Directory but here you can see that there's one different within all other device which is the C01 which is being managed by Microsoft Intune why because I've created that group policy which integrates with MD, with my with my MDN which allow users device to be enrolled to Microsoft Intune automatically without the user doing it manually. My name is Kelvin Johnson. This is how you actually integrate your MDM using group policy. So please if this video has been of any help to you, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel, like my video, and as well share this video if you think this video can be of any help to you anyone you can leave a comment or send me a personal email and i'll reply to you as quick as possible thank you very much and see you next time bye